the problem here from Net Bank. And they told me that I must provide a message of support. That's the brief. <laughs> That's why I can't talk about 50 years ago. Paris won five trophies. I can't talk about it. I can't talk about Peter being in China because it's from Corsa. Yes. I can't talk about that. I can't talk about Kaiser was a Paris player from Orlando. I can't talk about that. And I decided to do something very out of the way, Madame Kensani. Uh, I want to apologize in advance because uh, I had to choose you know, a position I must take in this occasion. Because it's emotional premium that where we come from, where we are today, is different experiences. And when I came here in Soweto from Alexander, they were defined by the shoes you wear, by the cap you wear, by the music you play. They won't say Peter, they say James. They won't say David, they say but that day. So it defines me. So sitting, standing here, I've got the challenge, especially for the youth, especially our girls. And there's a message that they must take home. Because we lived in a country, in a world that was easy. If you do well in your area, in your parochia, you've achieved. Now we're a global village. The challenge is big. If you are big in Orlando, you must be big in New York. There are no discount. And it's challenging. In 1999, we were working on our first bid to host the FIFA World Cup in South Africa. Our office were at Summer Place in Hyde Park. Someone came to notify me that I had a visitor. And that visitor turned out to be a young man that had used the text to come all the way from Soweto to Summer Place. This young man was a delighted as the students that have passed me a trick get after noticing that their name is listed in the newspaper, especially when their name is accompanied by an confirming their university entrance and subject passed with distinction. I remember that this young man had passed his course with distinction. He had come to share the news with me. That day, I saw something I did not believe this young man even realized he exuded. I saw fire in his eyes and veins. I saw a determination so strong, he would not be deterred. I remember thinking this is one of those that will be guided by their vision and not their fears. There was no doubt in my mind that this young man had a vision. To me, vision is the audacity to see an invisible goal, yet manage to work towards one until you succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a true story. A young man who came to see me way back in 1999 was Mr. Pizzo James Musimon. Wow. He came to summer place without an appointment to show me his coaching qualifications, which he had acquired from out there with distinction. Many young girls, sometimes boys, will look at themselves and believe that they are too, they too can be winners. Successful at what they choose to do because of their hard work, tenacity, and self-motivation. There are lots of people that work in order to have money to afford their lifestyle. Your work is your life coach. I remember how when Coach Pizzo at Supersport did not hit the fear of traveling in a taxi in a war torn Sudan and Algeria to go spy on teams that he was going to face in African Champ competition. He personally embarked on this exercise where he could have easily sent someone to perform those tasks for him. Maybe his life is to lead by example ethos. 
Today, our country, our townships, is settled with many challenges. We are fortunate, especially here in Soweto, that we had icons that taught us, for example, that life, sometimes, we must die a little. No great nation can go through its history without having to make hard choices. It reminds me of the US President, Roosevelt, who once said a quote, of some generation, much is given. <laughs> of other generation, much is asked. This generation has a rendezvous with destiny, close quote. Truly, we have a rendezvous with destiny South Africans. We must have the maturity to face our problem realistically. There comes a time when every generation must be accountable. Now, I'm addressing myself to the girls now. Because I'm not supposed to say this message. You don't have the power to the Sufi to say it. Either you can't say it. But I'm going to say it because you cannot have an uncle that will help you in the global village. You must be self-sufficient. You must be able to in charge of the destiny. But you choose those choices. There's a piece of advice to all the students. I need to remind you that you have the right to vote and shine your constitution. And my advice to you, I think you must, have, must say to yourself, you have an obligation to vote, to enable to help ease up the challenges that we face and we change agents on the challenges the country is facing. So the future is in your hands. The country is changing every day. We are mixing with the rest of the continent, the rest of the world will be lost in insignificance. So it's very important for you to go and vote to make sure that the destiny of this country is in your hands. Black, white, Africans, and all of us. So I'm saying to you, I implore you. I am not sure if 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 I am not sure you have kept on asking about this country by a Prime Minister of Austria. And he wanted to know, but why you want to about South Africa? And the Prime Minister said to him, South Africa is a pilot project. And what do you mean it's a pilot project? But one of the unique constitutions in the world. We do things differently. In fact, they resolve their solutions of this country by talking, not war. It was not an American nation who never won this right the of the miracles, we are people with great matter. This great matter here must preserve this legacy and make sure they vote and protect all the gains that we have made. Thank you.